Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. This video is on how to select a bullseye point in the F-18 and use it for air-to-air -air combat and callouts when you're speaking to GCI or other aircraft operating on the fighter frequencies. Okay, to input the bullseye point, first you need to know where it is. So click on F-10, zoom out until you see the bullseye. So it's that blue circle area there. So position is 362518 North, 115254 West. So what I want to do is to go back to my F-18 and I need to input that point. So easiest way, only way in fact, is go to menu, menu, HSI. Now I'm going to choose a waypoint that isn't used so I'm just going to go to waypoint 59 and then I'm going to click data that tells me that no data is inputted for that waypoint. So I need to click the button here that says UFC. That takes me to my upfront controls. So first thing is click the position button. Then it's north, three, six, two, five, one, eight, enter. And the westing was one, one, five, two, two, five, four, enter. So that gives me the position of that point. Now to make it an air to air point so I can use it for bullseye, I'm going to click the AA waypoint button. Now when I go back to my attack radar and my SA page, wherever I move my cursor, the bullseye position changes. So over here on the HSI, I'm going to make that sensor of interest on the SA page, sorry, I'm going to move that. So this gives me the, my position from bullseye, or the bullseye from me to the bullseye is 29119. So reciprocal of that is 11119. But where my cursor is moving is this bullseye position here. So I've got an airborne and I'm flying out towards a target that has appeared not only on my radar, but the SA page being fed in by the E3. Now if I was the fighter and I wanted picture on that, I would say magic, Pascal, declare group, bullseye. 0 to 8, 24, 25,000. And then he would go back, he would look at his bullseye position, and then he would tell me what it is. Now again, if I didn't have it on radar, and the E3 was telling me it, I could search it on the SA page, looking for it there. And it tells me the bullseye position, if I clear the bit, warning, you might be able to see it. Unfortunately, that's covering it. Let me move the SA page so you don't get that warning. So it tells me there, Bullseye 03522. If I go my attack radar, I've got 03522. So I've got the same position and got it locked up. That's how you use Bullseye and the F 18 Hornet. So there you go, just a very quick video on how to, number one, input a waypoint in an F-18, and number two, select it as a bullseye point, so you can operate with the GCI um, and other fighters who are using bullseye in missions. If you've seen some of my live streams recently, you'll have seen it I was operating as a GCI and calling it in bullseye. That's how you find it in a bullseye point and you know what the controller's talking about. I'd like to once again thank everyone for watching the videos. I hope you're all staying safe in quarantine or isolation wherever you may be around the world. Um, thanks again for all your likes and watches. Um, it's been excellent doing these videos and I'll continue to do them because hey, it's DCS and it's great fun. If you like the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, crack on. It'd be fantastic to have you on board. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.